Hi, I'm Stacy J. <laughs> And my actual name is Stacy. Joanne is my middle name, so that's why I sometimes stop when I say Stacy. Um, and this is my studio. Welcome to anyone new that is watching me for the very first time, and welcome back to those that um, are Atanatus just like me that just want to see more and more of Atanatus. Uh, today is Tuesday, and I am flat out with a client's outfit that needs to be done by uh, tomorrow. And I have got, I've rehemmed it. I've removed a fishtail off it. Probably about that much fishtail. Oh, there you go. Ooh, that much fishtail off the end of it. Um, it's got buttons all the way down the back. Um, they are not, they are, um, <sighs> the pause is so good to me. I forget my words. Ornamental. Don't just see it for show. Right, so what I want to do is, um, I don't know if I'm going to get to show you a tutorial today. Sorry, itchy eye. Uh, show you a tutorial today. So I'm going to show you something that I've just had to um, go through to um, try and make sew on my sewing machine. Now, as you know, anything that's commercially made, they have... One person does one machine, right? You become a machinist. The machinist is the person that deals with it. Now, I've been in factories, not worked in them. I've been in them. I worked for a company that made the uniforms for the military. And um, it's fascinating. It is fascinating when you go in there. All the machines that do all the different things. And when you get it and you have to alter it, you go, well, how am I going to do that? Yeah, they have a bar tack machine, they have a cover stitch machine, a, they have a tube machine that you go down a leg tube, um, which gives you the, um, the flat felt seams on both sides because of it. They have um, massive, massive tables where like 50 layers of fabric sit on top and um, a laser cuts it all out um, or a blade cuts it all out. They have all that. That is why your pattern or your, your ready-to-wear stuff is so cheap. Oh, I've realized I haven't ironed this yet. I have a single on to iron my Donnie, but I haven't ironed it because it's like partially linen and yeah. Anywho, ugh, enough about that. I'm going to bring you down. I put you up because I want to actually record high so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to just talk about the fact factories and um because a lot of people um don't realize and i i didn't re oh boop. okay drunk moments over there is no red cordial going on right now okay just saying right it's way too early in the morning it's like 10 it's five o'clock somewhere though just putting that out there um contrary to popular belief i am not an alcoholic so so they have all these factory things that um, will do every part of a job, whether it's, and you are trained on that one machine. And for the day, you are given a certain amount of, um, okay, let's just say you're to stitch up and put the sleeves inside a shirt, right? And your job is to put that sleeve or those sleeves inside a shirt, Okay, the whole time they have uh, in the industrial machine, uh, you actually can make a bobbin full while you are sewing at the same time, unlike a domestic machine, and that mach that they're constantly filling bobbins as they go. Right, you don't stop. You it's you pretty much got a target when you can go to the toilet, the target when you can go out and have a cigarette. Um, I think people would be shooting up if they had to work in that environment. No, it was very fascinating when I went there. And they have a board of how many they do. And um, if you surpass that, you actually get bonuses for it. So that's why when you get your um, ready-made pants, I'm going to use Easy Buy as a, as a um, example because I've recently bought about five cargo pants from Easy Buy. Um, just sort of needed something real fast to fit my body versus me making something. So, um, and the threads that were left on those, um, the, the overlocking that had caught between two seams. I think if you watched, 
um, if you <laughs> tortured yourself and watched Mr. Christopher and I make the man frock on from Sunday, you would see how I was teasing him about the the overlock thread that got caught between the shoulder seam or the side seam or something like that, and he said it was where he ties his keys. So um, that sort of scenario, oh, that was disgusting. I just watched some thread that has been sitting in there since Sunday on the shoot of the overlocker, and I just watched it move down the thing, and it just looked like a, a rat. Anywho, it's not a rat. So, um, so that's what they do in ready to wear places. I gotta hang on a sec. Right, so I pretty much prepped my, um, my spees to do this. I have made a hole in my dress, okay, down one of the, um, the panels. Um, so not an actual hole, just so, okay, before you guys panic and think I have to hand stitch something up. Right, so I've got this elastic going on and um i'm going to do a quick sample of what it's doing when i sew it now i better do it now because because <laughs> i'm talking to you about it and it did it to me before right so i've understitched the area i'm just going to and i'll pop you down so you can see where i'm going with this right Hopefully that sun is a benefit and not a non-benefit. Right, so it's stuck to there. I've unpicked it to there. And I want to go on the top of it and I want to come around to here. Right, I'm only going to do a bit because I do not want to spend all my time unpicking. It's going to work now. I've done that, isn't it? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to unp unpick anyway because I'm a moron. Okay, so I've got my uh, Teflon foot on, and I'm going to show you what it has been doing to me. Okay, I've got it on a long stitch to make my life easier. And let's see, it might not, but what I'm not pulling anything. It's not a stretch. I'm not stretching it. But let's put a um, let's put a little mark. Um, I don't have pencil here I'm just gonna put this then so that's there that's actually a pencil I don't want to use that what am I doing come on Stacy just go and get something I have there it is oh, yeah, dress. all right <sighs> A lot of dress, a lot of dress, a lot of pink. Okay, so so this would have been sewn on while well, the dress wasn't like a dress. I'm not pulling the whole dress apart. To make me fit under it okay so move that around it should be on the flat it's not playing the game the game has not been played by the dress so much dress so I don't want to have any fabric under it when I start to sew so if I Put it down there. Get the weight off it off. Oh. Right, the reason I got the dress going under here is the um, I've got to go from the end up. Okay, and that's why I can't go from that end back. So if we nothing stretching, it's not stretched, it's just placed down that's where the seam is okay now if we start to sew and it makes a liar out of me already it's moved okay it's already moved about three mils okay so by the time i get there it's probably moved one whole centimeter we don't want that i'm going to unpick that and come back Okay, this is a game for young players. Okay, I'm not saying that anyone that has been sewing for years 
doesn't know how to do this. I'm just throwing out little tips and tricks to make life easier. So I've got my Teflon foot on. The Teflon foot can slide over, over leather, which also sticks to your normal foot, but this isn't working. We've just noticed that it, it's sliding it sideways. I've, sorry, I've got a I've got it locked down there because I want to um, not pull it out again. I've got it flat. So I didn't have to do that in front of you because I felt like a um, uncoordinated git just before. All right, so I'm going to lift it up. And what I've got instead is I've got uh, tissue paper. This tissue paper comes from the inside of the pair of pants. You know how I hem those pants for that client? Well, this tissue paper comes out, comes in from behind the fold up here because I only try one on and I get the measurement from that and the other ones don't. So now I've got this tissue paper. I can see through it. I can see there's the side there. Okay. So I'm going to move forward. Tap back because I need to lock off. Okay. And just gently go. It's not a competition. It's not a race. I've got that little mark is still sitting on the side seam. Okay, and just move it, make sure there's nothing going to get sewn up. Now, I have not cut this fabric yet, uh, this elastic. Okay, so I'm going to cut it when it gets closer, fold it under. Okay, if I look under there, I've gone and it's still sitting on that side. Okay, it's still sitting there, the mark. And all this is doing is helping the grippy of the of the um, elastic not grip to the foot okay so I'm going to cut my elastic see how much <laughs> a lot of elastic so I'm just going to pop it to where that black line is I'm going to find my good scissors okay so I got a phone call um, I am going to do this um, I'm halfway up I said I was going to cut it. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for my scissors. Um, I have a lady coming to me with jacket alterations to make her jacket sleeves thinner. So I'm going to cut off at the black and just above the black. I don't know if you can see the black there. And I'm going to fold it down under like that. So all the raw edges are sitting. Raw edges. Is. That's really good English. Right, so I've got it down and sewing. So I'm going to sew to the end of that. And what have we got here? That's still sitting on the seam. That's finished nicely before that. I'll pop that over the top again and I'll do over the other side. She only lives in Silverstream, which is two seconds away from where I live. I want to make sure I haven't sewn anything underneath. I haven't only where I need to so that goes down there okay I'm just going to lift that up a bit more go back a bit more there's the edge of my elastic tape and I'm going to roll make sure nothing's under there Okay, and then you just rip off. And it's not gathered, it's not puckered, it's sitting perfect with a little bit of tissue in it. Okay, and you just take your time and you peel the tissue off, de-thread it all, because you are your own um, quality control person. And I've got to turn those heaters down because I am now feeling like I'm having a hot flush, which I don't get, um, actually. I missed that one a little bit. Okay, so you can see where I missed it a bit. I'll go back in with another piece. But it's in place, so that's the best thing about it. Where did I pop that other piece? And here's my other side already done. I just want to peel this off and 
use that to finish off this so I don't forget. The idea of doing alterations is to get it back to the client in exactly the way it came, okay, but fitting better. And that's what I pride myself on because what's the point of having an alteration that looks nothing like the outfit you first started with? Correct. So a little bit of a perfectionist in that way. Um, it can be a detrimental to your own health. Okay, that's better. That's stuck on. So look at that. It sits so much flatter and nicer than the gathered look it was getting. And I'll just go through and fix the holes up with the big hole that I've got at the back, which all ready-to-wear garments have that have a lining when you bag the lining, okay? You will have an area where it is an area where it is um, got like an outside stitch. And I'll show, I can show you that on the end of this if you want. Um, and your red to wear jackets, if you need to ever take them in or do something on the inside, uh, look in your left hand sleeve, you'll find that, that gap because you can unpack it and then you can turn it inside itself to make it not as big after you've unpacked it to pull the whole entire jacket through. But it's good they put that there for a reason i have it in my jackets all my jackets have a left hand sleeve ability to enter enter oh i now gotta go in into my little hole i'm gonna cut my my lining because it's right up to here and my dress you can see it's bunched there because i haven't trimmed it yet and that part's done and then i just gotta hook an eye because they didn't even put a hook and eye on this dress i mean come on so, more money for me. Evening, everybody. It is now, I think, close to 7 p.m. And I know that I did not finish um, from today. I did the... Um, I did the... I'm in, I'm in the lounge. I did the sewing over the um, tissue paper to get you over the elastic to help you so that's a, that's a game for young players that one so um that was today's lesson i have i believe finished the bright uh, mother of the groom's dress and the bridesmaid's dress so hopefully that'll be all sorted by tomorrow i'm just gonna find out whether i'm going to them or they're coming to me because normally people come to me what so, about a tuxedo man frock but formal wear Stay well, stay dry, stay warm, keep cool, keep on sewing, hydrate, and have no regrets. I'm regretting that thing. He just yells things out now like he thinks he owns the whole vlogging world. I'll see you later. Bye.